Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing today? I'm okay. And then I'm here to work with you with two interesting words. The first one, well, both the words are going to be um, depicted in the vocabulary list, or you will find them here. Just scroll down the page. Go to the letter B and pay attention to the word boring. It's an adjective and um, boring as a verb. After checking our information, we need to go to the PowerPoint and watch this slide three pictures are depicting information about the word boring do you have some information for this word okay the second slide is presenting the second word that is boring boring you see a baby right there, and you see a baby lamb right here. Both pictures are depicting information uh, to introduce the word born. Going into the Cambridge Dictionary, please pay attention to the information on the Cambridge Dictionary. Boring, it's an adjective. Check the pronunciation. Boring. British English and American English. You know that you have to copy this information and put it on the slide, on your PowerPoint. The definition says not interesting or exciting. All right, for example, she finds opera boring. It's boring to sit on the plane with nothing to read. A boring lecture. The movie was so boring that I fell asleep. So the um, um, key words would be not interesting, not exciting. Please go to the, uh, to the PowerPoint and write information about this, um, this word. We are analyzing the word, right? Whenever you want, post the video or stop the video and keep adding information on the slide. You know that you have to write the pronunciation, British and American pronunciation. Uh -oh. Well, copy and paste the pronunciation. Boring, boring. Let me tell you something. If I'm, if I'm not conscious of the pronunciation, the the English phonology, probably I'm going to pronounce this word with the. Spanish phonology. I would say bo ring Spanish bo ring boring. Okay, but um, the English pronunciation presents other phonemes and. And then, 
we pay attention to the first vowel sound oh it's a little bit um it's a little bit uh, different to our o sound it's o you open your mouth and you produce the sound right there bo and then check the second sound and vowel sound ring boring rider okay this is the american pronunciation of problem is the same you will put the circus rider boring but now um let's uh, find the sound on the other chart the vowel chart it's right here ball Boring. There we are. See the difference between the Spanish and English? All right, we say that uh, the grammatical category, it's uh, it's uh, mentioned as an adjective. So you write here, adjective. Please uh, go to the Cambridge Dictionary again and check the information for getting the definition. Get the definition. If you um, find uh, interesting information, of course, you are going to find interesting information. Put, put it over here in the uh, space for information, our information right here, and write some examples. I'm going to take one of the examples that this she finds opera boring. She finds opera boring. Opera boring, boring. Please uh, keep practicing the pronunciation of the word. Where this is the picture depicting opera. etc okay just just keep working with the definition uh, if you want to add information for it right there practice the pronunciation now let's go to the other word it's boring boring all right it's boring Go to the Cambridge Dictionary again. Just copy the pronunciation. I'm pretty sure that we are uh, in Spanish speakers uh, uh, will put the O right here, born, born, over right here, born, born. But they say that we have to use this sound, this vowel sound, O, oh, born, born. British pronunciation. Remember the uh, green um, circles um, presents the Spanish phonology. The blue circles presents present the um, American pronunciation. All right, now you have to practice the pronunciation. Practice constantly, keep speaking. The grammatical category for this word is um, a verb. 
Look for the definition, please. Go back to the Cambridge Dictionary to get the information for a definition. To come out of the mother, mother's body and starts to exist. Don't copy and paste. I mean, don't memorize the definition. Take your time, analyze the information, and then go to the PowerPoint and write it. Or write part of the information. Then write some examples. But again, again, don't copy the information. Try to use the grammatical part of the sentence or of the structure and uh, read the grammatical part and then create your own example. Look at this. I say she was born in 1950. She was born. Oh, interesting. Using two verbs. Was, was, and born. Then a preposition. And then uh, the number, the date, right? Could be an adjective, 1950. She was born in 1950. So analyzing the information in order to create your own sentences. She was born in 1950. I can say my mother was born in, and you write the date, the year. I say I was born. It's important to notice that in the structure of the two verbs, once and born, the conjugation is based on the first verb, the verb to be, I was born, she was born, you were born. So, um, again, the example would be, my father was born in 19... Um, 1968, for example. See that? All right, guys, please continue working. Practice the pronunciation, analyze the, uh, the information very well, and create your own uh, sent sentences. Write the definition. Don't forget to write the definition. And if you want to add some information, just do it. Thank you very much. See you around.